What is up guys, Brandon here from TechFlayer, back with another video. This is kind of a, like an announcement video, I guess, um, but the point is, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. So the bad news, I'll tell you guys first, is that I'm going to discontinue my uh, GameCube portable project. Um, I will leave some links to a bunch of really good articles and uh, forums that I found really helpful in researching about this uh, in the description below so go definitely go check that out if you really want to make one um, but basically the reason why I'm not going to do it anymore is because what I really wanted to do was I needed to find a replacement for the GameCube disk, disk drive so as you can see that's really really thick it's like oh, almost an, it's probably a little over an inch thick and that adds a ton of bulk and also it's not like one of those it's not like the Wii disk drive where you just put a disk in and it and it uh, it put, takes the disk into the disk drive itself. You have to actually put the disk on, um, and that makes it a lot harder to use because then you have to have it out in the open where the the laser can get damaged and stuff like that. So I didn't want uh, to use the disk drive. Um, so the way you can go around the disk drive, the way you can take off the disk drive is you can get a mod chip for the GameCube. Um, so I did a ton of research. I researched for like, I don't know, hours and hours on end for, on multiple days. Um, and basically since the GameCube is so old, no one makes mod chips anymore because they know that no one's really going to buy them. Um, I mean it's 2017, the GameCube came out in what, 04? Um, so it's not like no one's really buying GameCubes anymore, um, so they don't make them anymore. And so uh, all of them have been bought. There's none left. There's no mod chips left at all. And so what I've decided to do instead, I hope you guys are okay with this. Um, of course, I know I don't have a very uh, good following right now, but still, I, I care about your guys' opinions. Even if you don't give me one, I know that you have one. Um, I mean, 60 plus people have watched my first part in my GameCube tutorial, which is pretty good. I mean, uh, that's not bad. Um, it's in my one of my most popular videos. Um, so anyways, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make a portable Wii. Now, the reason I decided to make a portable Wii is that, one, it's super, super easy to mod. Um, you can easily install the homebrew channel and I'll upload a video solely on what I'm going to do with the Wii uh, soon. Um, so basically I'm going to make a Wii because it's super easy and I can reuse some of the parts from my GameCube that I ordered like the battery and maybe the screen, um, stuff like that. So that's really nice and I also might be able to get a Wii from, from one of my friends that doesn't use his anymore, so that'll be nice if I don't, if I don't have to buy another one because my old one broke. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing, guys. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed my GameCube portable. And don't forget, if you want to make a GameCube portable, I will put some links in the description uh, for you guys to check out so you can make your own portable GameCube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out my channel a lot. And also, don't forget to check out these awesome videos. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.